Hey guys, welcome to my new series where I take an extreme demon that I've just beaten and then rip the living hell out of it. Okay, just to be clear, the intent of this series isn't actually to just dunk on these creators for what, for the most part, will probably just be nitpicks, but it's more just to point out quirks and flaws in the gameplay of these levels that I think players should be aware of if they ever want to try these levels for themselves. So what better level to start with than what is probably the most legendary extreme demon in the whole game, Bloodbath. The gameplay of this level is certainly in interesting and I definitely have quite a few things to say about it so let's just get straight into it. Okay starting off this timing is completely blind. I'll let it slide because despite it being a blind timing it still somehow gets consistent probably because it's at like 3% but if it was anywhere further in the level then I reckon it would be a lot worse. I don't know if it was just me but this ball was never entirely consistent for me. I would always die there every few attempts and I never understood why. Maybe it was just my click pattern but it's still annoying nonetheless. This blind transition into vermilion ship. This slow ball part that doesn't sink in the slightest. Oh boy, this is where it gets fun. Michigan's part is by far the hardest part of the level in my opinion, which makes this level such a chore to play from zero sometimes, considering it's near the start of the level. That's why you have to have a very good mindset when playing this level, because it can be destroyed so easily by this part in particular. This straight fly that's really hard to line up for some reason, although note that if jumping into it doesn't work for you then you can try doing this instead. This UFO which is way too hard for no reason. This wave which feels like it should be consistent but just isn't for some reason. The fight that the part after Michigan which is made by Evasium is dead easy so dying there is absolutely soul crushing. Lining yourself up for this club step monster, the fact that Asonic is also soul crushing to die to because of how easy it is compared to the part surrounding it. Strangely enough I don't actually have any problem with Edsa's part even though a lot of people probably do. I actually like the part quite a lot. This isn't really a problem but it's more just advice from me. I see way too many people using this click pattern for the UFO which is really inconsistent sometimes. So next time you play this level, try using this click pattern instead because it's so much more consistent. Credit to my friend Lilla for showing me that while I was learning this level. It's really hard release near the end of the level where you have to hold long enough for one to jump but release quick enough so that the other one doesn't. This straight fly that isn't that hard but lining it up correctly is annoying because of how you get thrown into it. I could just be mad because I died there four times somehow though. Anyway, that's all the problems I really have for this level. Overall, it's a solid level and it definitely deserves the recognition it has for pushing the limits of difficulty at the time, but considering this is an old level that was basically just made to be hard, it was bound to be far from perfect. Overall, I don't only really recommend this if you just want to play it because it's bloodbath. Otherwise, there are far better options for this difficulty range, so have a look on sites like Arredal or the GDDL for levels around that skill range if bloodbath itself doesn't interest you. I'll link sites like that in the description for those of you that might want to have a look at other options. Anyway, that's all for today, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then please consider leaving a like and subbing to the channel to show that you like the idea of this series and want me to do more, because if this video does well enough, then I will turn this into a fully fleshed series. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and goodbye.